What's up guys and welcome back to Beyond Two Souls. In the previous video we ended up one seeing Jody finally join the CIA so it, it finally made sense why she was on the embassy thingy to get those papers like that mission and we see her try to escape from the police. In this video I have no clue where we're going because I think it's called yeah my imaginary friend. You know weird thing about it I was reading an interview or them talking about this game like the creators and one thing they were saying is that they wanted a game that was so like not simplistic but the gameplay was um easy enough that people who were not huge gamers could get into it you know like people who play mobile games people who play candy crush on their phone you know Cause that's what i'm meaning like when I say mobile games, I don't mean somebody who sits and plays on a 3DS all the time. Or a PS Vita. But more for people who play um, Candy Crush. You know, like small, what people would call smaller gamers. Hey honey, you can't spend the whole day looking out the window. And I mean, I think they did kind of capture it. An what idea. Because the gameplay... Like, just sitting here playing it, it actually reminds me more of, like, a Telltale's game than it does, um... It reminds me of, like, Telltale, like, where it's, like, very simplistic, um... Gameplay, where it's like, oh, hit the control stick to get up. Watch, if I walk over here, I can hit the control stick to sit back down. You know what I mean? I think the one thing about it is what they didn't realize a lot of people who play mobile games don't um, actually sit for a story kind of sto game. I said I had something I could click over here. Oh, hold up. Can I control eyes? Yeah, I can control eyes. Okay, duty noted. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, maybe she wants us to go outside. Let's go outside and play in the snow. Jody, where are you going? Uh, nowhere. I was just looking outside. I have no clue what we're supposed to be doing here. But I mean, like... And I'm not sitting here saying, oh, people who only play video games on their phones can't handle a story. But a lot of people who do play mobile games tend to come up, play a little bit when they're sitting there goofing off. Oh, L1. I was sitting there clicking L3. Because it has that circle to it, and I'm sitting there like, okay, I'm hi I'm hitting L3. Okie dokie, we'll go in my car. I love your car. Yeah, I chose it myself, and it goes really, really fast. That's more of a chair, like, not chariot, but a, um, carriage. But yeah, and that's something I was sitting there thinking while reading the article is that this is a very big like story game. I, I do agree when it comes to like gameplay, it does remind me a little bit more of like a more simplistic game like uh, Telltale Games or um, sitting there playing. Damn ghost. Why he's so handsome. Stop that, I I told you I didn't want to play with you anymore. Damn ghost. 
but yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I mean, gameplay, it's really simplistic when it comes to that regard. But I mean, a lot of people who like mobile games, they don't sit and um, play a lot of story based. Where, like, some of the more popular mobile games, like Candy Crush, or... It's like Candy Crush, that was really popular, Flappy Bird. It's, like, very simplistic to the point that, you know, you could do it while goofing off or while doing other stuff. You know, like, if you're sitting there watching TV, you can sit and play it without paying attention much to the game or the television. Or, oh, you're sitting there watching TV, so you can sit and play. You know, and I mean, that's been, an like, not an argument, but something people have talked about where it's like, does that really count as a video game, or do they count as gamers? Like, I really don't know what we're doing. What the hell? Okay. Where's her, like, parents' bedroom? Do they have a bedroom downstairs, or do we pass it? Oh, it's over here. Okay. What's the other bedroom? Jody, honey, would you do me a favor? Could you okay. get me a bottle of oil from the garage? Uh, sure, no problem. I bet you it has a time limit where we have so much time to do it. No, I didn't. Mom is going to be mad if we mess with her stuff. We were already messing with her stuff. <laughs> but dude, I was sitting there watching, what is it, like... Adam ruins everything. And it, where he was doing the whole, oh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, no, I'm just walking in. I'm walking out. He's Jody. I'm working. Okay, I'm leaving. Sorry. Well, no, he, he brought up a point where he's like, oh, you know, guys should understand that girls play video games now. And it's like, more uh, single, not single mothers, but more... Women are playing uh, Candy Crush and using that as an example. And I was sitting there like, N no. <laughs> like, when we talk about gamer girls, we're not talking about somebody who sits and plays Candy Crush once in a blue moon. You know? Like, that was like a horrible example to be like, see, there's gamer girls. See, there's people who sit and play Candy Crush once in a blue moon. I'm like, that, that's not a gamer, girl. <laughs> Sorry. Try again, Adam. Like, I do agree. Because there is people who are like, girls shouldn't play video games, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I don't give a shit either way. But. But when you use an example that more females play Candy Crush, that's like sitting there going, like back in the 80s, I was sitting there watching a nut. I'm sorry, but that scared the living hell out of me, that mannequin. But that's like the whole thing back in the... Yeah, that mannequin scared the hell out of me. Where the fuck is this oil? But no, like, I was, well, I can't remember what I was watching. Maybe it was like, 
gaming history. It had something to do with gaming. But one thing they were talking about is like Pac-Man was so popular with children of both genders is because it was such a um, mutual game idea where it's like it really didn't have anything to do with oh gender blah 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 it was just Pac-Man you run around do that because people would be like back in the day what did they have Street Fighter Contra blah 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 I don't know if Contra was out back then I wasn't around in the 80s but people were talking about um how it changed Thanks, sweetheart. after uh, Miss Pac-Man came out where girls who were sitting there playing um... Come on, honey, I gotta get dinner ready. were sitting there playing games or going to try to play Pac-Man would be told go play Mrs. Pac-Man that's the one for the Thanks, girls sweetheart. why don't you go outside and play I'll call you when dinner's ready that's what I was doing But yeah, that's what I was mean with Adam ruins everything for him to use the example. Judy, I can't remember how he worded it either. The yard's the other way, honey. But it was basically like when he was doing facts, he was like, "Candy Crush is one of the more popular video games," and like, on the like how he worded it, it was like m most popular game, and eighty-five percent of it who play it is females. I don't know. It just it felt I'm to going. me. Kind of insultive toward real gamer girls. I know some people might be watching this and being like, "Great, now I can be bored and freezing." But you don't care, do you, Adam? You never get cold. Have a goal. Oh, there's the goal. We're gonna kick it in. Uh, I don't know what the hell to do right here. We can play on the swing, I guess. I mean, if we break something, at least there's ice already on the ground. Yeah, we'll go swing. Will you push me, Aiden? He's gonna push you off the swing. It's not fun anyway. Come on, let's get it. <laughs> oh shit! Oh man, I'm sorry, I, I cut your legs off there! Some fun. I'm gonna make you pay for that. Take that. <laughs> okay, I know we're not supposed to. Come on, we'll just play for five minutes and come back. Mom will never know. But yeah, that's where I I was sitting there watching. I was like, ah. Hey Jody, wanna play with us? Come on, hurry up and hide 
then you're gonna get cream. And I'm really good at this. I give up, I give up, okay? I surrender. Ow. Hitting him in the face. I'm not even looking at him. Bullying this guy. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Come on, I can't each get one with the ball. The ball of snow. I do not understand these traditions. I never grew up in snow as a kid. You're a dead little girl. I got you. Ah! I stopped. I, I, he's a kid. Did you see that? She nearly killed me. You saw what she did to me? She's a witch. A dirty, rotten witch. What's going on here? She's a witch. I'm telling you. Jody Holmes is a witch. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Get in the house. I don't know what happened. What happened? We didn't kill him. What were you doing in the street? You know you're not allowed to leave the yard. I saw the other kids playing. I, I just wanted to have some fun. What did you do to that boy? Philip. I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. He was trying to defend me. He thought... I'm sick and tired of your stories. Jody, this time you're really going to get it. Help now. This is why you don't you don't like punish your children anymore by smacking them. The little shits have became psychic. Seriously, people think that, you know, parents going, I don't whip my children because if I whip them while they're bad, it will lead to bad things. Yeah, because these little shits are psychic nowadays. People don't know that. That's what all this GMOs and, you know, hormones and stuff they put in the milk and you know, all this science bullshit that people are going Mommy. against, you know, the vaccines. It makes it doesn't keep your children life. from getting sick. No. Nah. It makes the little shit psychic. Don't exist. Drink your milk, children. Door, okay. Get some sleep, sweet. <laughs> that would be so funny. That's why everybody's against GMOs, hormones, and like the food and um, what is it, vaccines. It's actually because it's making our children psychic. You've seen what you can do, right? Susan, that's no little girl. That's... Susan, that's a monster. Don't you dare talk about her like that! The things that are happening around her, they're not normal. And they're getting stronger, for the love of God. Susan, what's to stop her from turning on us? Oh, don't be ridiculous! Susan, that thing is like an uncontrollable animal. We have no idea what it's capable of. We have a demon living with us right under her own roof. Susan, this is going to stop, and it's going to stop now, before we end up crazy or dead. We agreed to look after a little girl, Susan, but not this. Not this. Excuse me, uh, my name is Kevin.
This is probably her parents, like, deciding to get rid of her. Like, when she goes to the psychic lab. There's no reason to be scared, Ivan. We're going to sleep, and nothing is going to happen. See? This is my stuff animal. I love it. I call it Mr. Stuff Stuff. I know it's a female and it's a bow, but I'm only seven years old, so I call it Mr. Like Bobo. Judy! See what we could have done. We could have behaved well, missed the shoebox. Missed the shoebox? What the hell was in the shoebox? Ex exited the garage in time. Didn't eat a cookie? What the fuck? We, what was our path we chose? Like, we chose to do the right thing all the way through. It was like we missed the shoebox? What the hell? I'm probably going to Google that. Figure out what the hell's in that shoebox that it was such a major point that we could have gotten, like, a different path for the shoebox. Maybe it was, like, our Christmas present. They didn't give us a trophy for that either, so I'm sitting here like, oh. Because they usually give us a trophy every chapter. So yeah. we're back at our teenage years. What's going on? Get dressed. I'll explain in the car. Is this on the way to the party? The DPA has launched a program to study the other side. The infrared, as they call it. They've created a condenser, a machine to open a rift in what lies beyond. Okay. Open the passage? To Aiden's world? Something happened last night. Entities got through the rift and we couldn't shut down the condenser. Everybody in the building was slaughtered. None of the rescue teams came back. They called and asked for your help. I told them you were just a child, that it was too dangerous. But they know only you know how to deal with what lies beyond the rift. See, and this is kind of weird in a way that we only get to see certain moments of her life. like. I think I can say for anybody who's been watching this series, you start to grow to love Jody, and you're wanting to know more about her story. Jody, <laughs> like that's why I keep like every stay. video I come I'll back and I'm just like. It's like I. It's like, oh, we learn a little bit more about this character, and then five minutes later we have more questions about her story but we only I bet you when we get to the end of the game we'll be wishing for more but like I, I wish I could have seen more of her like life or story you, you know you don't understand she's the only one that can stop this like how it is in the hospital I'm sorry man she can go oh I'm sorry I'm a certified badass. Who's afraid of interdimensional things from another world? Not this girl. What could that look like? They're not telling us everything. These levels and over the There's no way to confirm. 
condenser is in the lower basement. You need to find the control room. That's all they could tell me. Jody, the entities around the rift, they're not like Ivan. They're from the depths of the other side. We know almost nothing about them. I've been living with an entity that I know nothing about since the day I was born. I get it. Don't worry. I don't plan on dying today. If she does die, the story just ends. See, I think this is a little bit older from the party. It might be just me, but she looks a little bit more mature. Because I think when she went to the party, she was like maybe 14, 15. You know what I mean? Like where she's like, not preteen, but like early teen years. Either. And this one, she looks like she would be I'm like, scared. I don't know, 16, 17. I think actually in that video I said 14 to 18. I should have said 14 to 60 because I wouldn't be wrong. She was somewhere between those ages. She was 13. Damn it! I put all my money on that. So we're gonna go and fight some demons. Elevator stuck. See what you can do, Iden. I do also agree that it's kind of weird that all these people died and they sent a, a girl. Not like, oh, they sent a girl, but like, like a teenage girl to deal with it. I wouldn't have gotten in there, personally. Not because, oh, dead body, blah, blah, blah. I, I actually do not like elevators. And then after it getting stuck, I, that would have been my sign to get the hell out of there. I love how they introduce these new game things that Aiden can do, but we didn't know. Like, you can hear my timer going off. 
But it's like they keep introducing this new stuff that Jody could do beforehand. Like stuff she figured out she could do as a kid or a teenager. And then they don't like you can't do it in future parts like the CIA or all that. So that's kind of funny where it's like, oh, I figured out how to do that like 10 years ago. But I just remembered how to do it now. Because, you know, plot and stuff. But we're going to have to end this video here. Um, I, it's getting interesting. Like, my big thing is I, I don't think they're going to tell us or we're ever going to figure out what the hell Aiden is. Um, like, I've already figured they're not going to tell us. We're going to have to sit and put two and eight together. But I, like, I don't mind that. But I would like to know more about her story. Like, it goes from, oh, her parents didn't want her. Like, that's where they're deciding that she's too much trouble to, oh, she goes to the hospital. Like, it just seems like to me there would be some kind of incident that led to that. I don't know if, if that boy getting choked was enough for them to come up, be like, no, we don't want her around. But again, we only get to see certain parts of her life, like little flashbacks, you know what I mean, here and there. So, I mean, it makes sense. We only get to see major points, I guess, that fit the story. But yeah, I think by the time we get to this, the end of this series, we'll get to a point where it's like, I want to know more about this uh, girl or what the hell is Aiden? Do we ever figure out what Aiden is, you know? But I would like to thank everybody for watching, and if you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.